What's up, you guys, and welcome to a whole new episode of Tony Approved. Okay, so now that Drake has debuted at number one on both the Hot 100 and the Billboard's 200 charts, can we go ahead and finally admit that this project is not as bad as everybody made it seem? I mean, people was going in on this one, calling it elevator music, music to play in Macy's, and literally all Drake did was change his sound. I personally happen to like this EDM sound for Drake. And to me, it kind of feels like if you take Certified Lover Boy and get to Knife Talk and everything after that, that's basically this project. We get singing Drake. And there's nothing wrong with singing Drake. We like singing Drake. Hey, home hanging on my neck. The bracelet matches a set. My brother. I'm afraid. Don't think. I'm afraid. But I'm moving to your room. This is music that you can put on when you cleaning up the house, when you chilling out with your friends, just nice little mood music that you don't have to think too hard to listen to. I know some of Drake fans are wondering if this is going to be his only release for 2022 and are low key hoping that he put out another project that's closer to his regular sound in December. But one thing I will say about his feature with 21 Savage, yeah, I didn't expect that to take over the entire hour. he came in a rose, but he left in a stretcher. My brother I mean, I know it's close to the normal sound we get from Drake, but 21 really held down that feature spot. He literally said, if I was Will Smith, I would have slapped him with a stick, man. Just clean. 21 is that dude. And I really, really like this project. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe so you don't miss anything from Tony Approved. God bless.